This is brought to you by FrostbiteSystems.com. In this episode today, we're going to install a brand new operating system called Peppermint. Uh, designed for uh, netbooks and stuff. It's got all your social networking built into it. Uh, things ready to go out of the box, too. This thing's awesome. Um, we'll give you a quick little tour after the installation, so stick around. What we want to install right now, so you put in your CD and your CD drive, reboot your computer, and uh, this live CD will boot in. Come up to install Peppermint, double click on that. This is a very lightweight OS, uh, system requirements are uh, minimal. Um, I installed it on a very old desktop actually and it breathed a ton of new life into it. Probably do this during your lunch time. Seven easy steps to install. It takes about 10-15 minutes to load in and you'll be good to go. Alright, first step, uh, select your language. Click forward. Okay, select your time zone, click forward again, okay keyboard layout, choose your keyboard layout, click forward. Okay, prepare disk space. Um, you can install them side by side. Uh, if you have another operating system on here, this will install it on the side of it. When you reboot, uh, it'll ask you, you know, which operating system you want to use. So you can do that. Um, you can partition it manually if you know how to do that. I always uh, Erase and use entire disk. I'm always switching operating systems, so this gives you a nice clean install. Uh, then you just click on forward. Okay, now we're at the Who Are You screen. It's going to ask you, uh, what is your name? Just the name of your computer. Just put in Frostbite Systems. Alright, uh, choose a password. It's going to ask you to re enter your password. Alright, I'm going to just click forward. Okay, and then it's going to ask you if you're ready to install. You can look through this, make sure everything's kosher. If not, you can always go back and switch it before you install it. But this is good to go. So all we're going to do is click on install. And it is now installing Peppermint. Okay, now the installation process is complete. You can continue running it as a live CD or we can uh, restart. Uh, which we want to do so we just click on restart now and it will eject your CD and ask you to hit enter okay and once you restart it will bring you to the login screen so you just type in your username hit enter type in your password hit enter
And there you have it. Welcome to the brand new Peppermint OS desktop. This thing's ready to go out of, out of the box. Like I said, it's great for uh, netbooks, laptops. Like I said, I put it on my old desktop and it breathed a ton of new life into it. I can get some more use out of it. Alright, so now it's time for a quick little tour. Go down the menu. Come up to accessories here. We still got the terminal. Uh, for those of you who know how to use the uh, command line, um, it's the pseudo command for that. So you got graphics, internet. Um, all right. The first thing in the internet is uh, Dropbox, which is awesome for uh, if you want to. Uh, share large files with your friends or business associates or whatnot you can if you don't have an account you just go to Dropbox you can get a free account uh, and if it's not enough uh, you can always uh, pay for an upgrade we use it a lot at Frostbite Systems it's awesome uh, once it installs the icon and everything here all you gotta do is click on that drag your file into it it syncs up with your buddy's computer and uh, then he can just open it up and check it out do whatever he wants to the file very useful tool I'm glad to see uh, Dropbox incorporated in here takes a takes a minute for that to install but while we're doing that uh, let's see, underneath Office here, they have all the Google stuff in here, Google Calendar, Docs, Reader, uh, Gmail, just set up your Gmail account, uh, then you're one click away from, uh, you know, all your emails, 